Okay, so I would like to address this mistake as well because I have actually seen this on another student's DTF that frankly she thoroughly ruined. And by pointing out my mistake, hopefully I will help any of the rest of you not make this mistake because I believe this is the most common mistake you're gonna find with applying a DTF. So I'm going to zoom in here. You can see the rest of the DTF did great. But what happened here is I did not get enough pressure on, so, so the white stuff that you see there is still glue. Now it started to melt, but I obviously didn't put enough pressure. Um, it looks like the heat was okay, but my iron is an auto shut off. And so what has happened is I believe that the heat wasn't hot enough. It started to melt. The rest of it looked great. I go to pull and let me zoom in here like that. You can see this is just literally where I have stretched the ink and now I'm going to cut it. So again, why did this happen? Probably because I did not put enough pressure nor was my iron consistently hot. So again, I want to use these types of mistakes to help you make sure that you have as much success as possible with your DTF. Now, I am recommending to people that if you're going to use an iron, you probably want to get a non shut off iron. Black and Decker makes one. There are several companies out there. Go to Amazon, uh, Vermont, Vermont Country Store may have one, but in any event, if you don't want to do this, you can also get yourself a heat press, which has a much better consistent heat, which frankly I may start doing more of as I do these for clients uh, so that these kind of mistakes don't happen. So again, let me zoom back out again. Now, uh, you may be asking, what am I going to do to correct this? That's actually pretty easy. I am going to grab a black marker and where you see the glue line, I'm just going to, frankly, trace right over that. And you'll probably, once I get it colored, nobody will be able to be the wiser. Um, now, would I have done it if the entire pattern had been messed up like that? No, that would have been a throwaway or something to practice on at a later date and time. So again, the downside of all DTFs is they're a one-shot only type of deal. You can make recoveries by doing simple little drawings, but the better way to deal with all of this is to keep consistent heat and consistent pressure for the allotted amount of time, which is usually 15 seconds, and test, test, test before you start lifting off. By the way, that's the other thing I did. I kind of just was doing so well at the top, I went ahead and ripped this all the way off, and that's how I got that. All right. Hope, as always, this helps, and thanks for watching.